everybody. Happy Wednesday. What's the date, Beth? It's February 8th. Thank you. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Paul Untork. And you're, well, you're at Broadway.com. You're right here, right at the heart of it. And we have a great guest today. Jason Gote, who we love. We adore him. We adore him. He's here to talk about uh, the must-have uh, CD, I think, of the winter. There's a new album. I think digital comes out Friday, I think. Freaky Friday. Anyway, Freaky we'll, Friday. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it with him. Ooh, well, let's talk about the news. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah. Should we start with news about us? Uh, sure, brag. Why not? Beth? Let's okay, do it. So let's do this. This is not really interesting to anyone except for us, probably. But every year, the Broadway League, which are producers and theater owners, they... They take, run Broadway. They are Broadway. Yeah. They take a little survey. Yeah, you they might ask. see it in your seat. And they find out the, the demographics of Broadway, and they put out a report. Yeah. And once again, Broadway.com is the number one theater source. That's because of you. <laughs> oh, that was a really good time. <laughs> Self-congratulatory. <laughs> I love it. You do a little so that's our news. Facebook. That's well, our news. But what's going on with Cynthia Erivo? What's going on? Much more importantly, world? Cynthia Erivo is going to star in a, in a Harriet Tubman biopic. I know. It's like an indie what? movie, right? I know. That's going to be amazing. I, well, I mean, how much do you know about Harriet Tubman? I give Abolitionist you you? warrior. Oh, okay. Did I win? Oh, All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Everyone knows about Harriet Tubman. It's like, one, it's like something you would do a book report on. Everyone except day. maybe our president. She does great work. All right, what else? <laughs> wow. She's, she's amazing. More and more people are going to find out about her. Um, Jess Butterworth, who we know because of Jerusalem and the River, with, which both transferred to Broadway right. with big fancy stars in them. These are hot. This is highbrow theater. Isn't it? I mean, it's... I don't... I don't okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Go ahead. I don't know. What else? She's so judgmental. Anyway, he's got a new <laughs> play called The Ferryman. It's going to be at the Royal Court in London in April. That's already sold out. That's fancy. And it's already announced that it will transfer to the West End in June. And then Broadway probably a year later. But not, I mean, they're I mean, not saying they that yet. Saying that. But I just want to let you know about that. Also, Who's in it? Do we know? Yes. Yeah. There are people in it. Okay. I don't know who they are, people but there are people who are in it. Jason Gote may be in it. Mm-hmm. Jason Gote, <laughs> poised for the West End. <laughs> Bill Rosenfield, whom we know. Oh, yeah, totally. That's not also not important to you. Not important. He has a new play also on the West End called 46 Beacon, which takes place in Boston. It's uh, like a gay drama memory play. A gay Boston memory play. I'm into yeah. that. Not the first, but yes. So that will be in April at uh, Trafalgar Studios. Beth, you're bearing the lead. Who did I get to see this morning? I'm going to get there. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about that? No, 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 tell no we'll people. get to it. We'll get to okay, it. Thank I'm you, Alex. Th- he's congratulating us on being number one. Thanks, Alex. George said uh, she was born to play Harriet. Except that she's British. Yes, that's true. Okay, so who did you see this morning? Someone really important. Someone really important you saw this morning. I thought you were getting to it. I don't want to... I'm, th- I'm there. I'm, oh, well, <laughs> I have more news, but... Uh, I went to the opening of the Hudson Theater. The reopening. Right. Yes, but I learned a lot about it. Did you know? Actually, it was really fun. So they did a ribbon cutting. Mm -hmm. Emily Ashford and Jake Gyllenhaal, you might know them. Uh, Sunday in the Park with George starts previous Saturday. That was nice of you to put Emily before Jake. That was really sweet. Um, Well, because I have a story about her. It was really Mm -hmm. funny. So they were standing there behind the ribbon, and they were... You know, announcing all this information about the theater. It was born in 1900. It was born. It was, it was, born. <laughs> it was built in 1903. Uh, Lawrence Olivier played there. All those people. You already know a lot of it. Yeah. But at one point they said, um, "Well, my favorite thing was that that's where El- the Tonight Show used to be there. Oh. And that's where Elvis did the you know hound dog moment. Are you moving your hips right now? Yeah. Jason Goethe Thank is going to do the full thing. <laughs> 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 experience of what's happening. Oh, anyway, that happened there. But the thing that was really funny is that Barbara Streisand's first television appearance was there. And when they said that, Annalie like gasped. It was really funny, like in the middle, she's like, "Ah, nobody told me. (laughs) Uh, And then I interviewed them. So that video is going so up momentarily. you guys talked to Jake, a rather tall oh, yeah. fellow. Yeah, yeah, and he said he, he's, he's got a full Sunday in the Park beard. Oh my God, the beard is so legit. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. It's so good. And uh, it's a beautiful production, so you guys need to go see that. I'm excited. And watch the video. And watch the video. There's some more news. Should we go on? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I just All right, we're going to go on. Also, people who can, by the way, because I'm just looking at what Tracy's writing, people who can... Do the abbreviation for Sunday in the Park. Oh, I didn't know what that meant. I just read. I never got know what my tickets today is. for <laughs> sit, sit, I I sit, sit, pool. It's kind of fast Sunday in the Park. Just you call it Sunday. We just call it Sunday. Sunday. Or Sunday in the Park. Or that. Okay, so Brian Darcy James. Everything does not done the abbreviation. <laughs> Brian Darcy James. 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 Brian Dar
does. Everything has. I'm going to see SB tonight. What about you? <laughs> Are you going to see SB? No, I'm seeing Sunset BLV Day. Oh. I was just kind of. We're both right. seeing it. Everyone's we're, seeing we're the getting press. Jason tonight's Goche's press night. <laughs> tonight's <laughs> press night at Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> then it opens tomorrow. I'm no. just sharing. Like, there's going to be a lot of press there. That's correct. Can I go on now, please? Brian Darson James is going to be in a movie. Oh, great! On what the is that? I didn't, I didn't know this. I was too busy interviewing Jake. There you go. It's happening? about the Unabomber. It's called Manhunt, the Unabomber. He doesn't play Ted Kaczynski. He plays Ted Kaczynski's. Professor. That's you got the hood, right? Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth Reeser, who's also been on um, stage a lot in New York, right. is also going to be in that. Okay. Julie Andrews has a new show. These are handwritten notes. Normally, I oh. saw her notes, but some are handwritten <laughs> today. Sorry. <laughs> I can't read well, These them. are things that actually aren't on the set yet. That's why. That's oh, oh my God. This is fresh? This is fresh. Okay. Julie Andrews has a new show with Muppets. Look right. how excited Caitlin is. She's freaking out. It's called yes. Julie's Green Room. It's about the performing arts. Oh. Adina Menzel will be on it because, of course, and Josh Groban. Cool. Maybe even together. They've worked together before. So uh, that and is... And Muppets? Mm-hmm. It's Broadway stars and Muppets? Not like Kermit, Muppets? but like Jim Henson's Muppets. Like okay. Muppets, Muppets. Cool. Yes. That starts on Netflix, or I guess the whole thing will be on Netflix oh. on March 17. Okay. Now I've got some sad news. Alec McGowan has died. He's 91. He's a three-time Tony nominee. Wow. And British person. Yeah. And fancy actor. Is that how you're ending it? No, no I have more to say. <laughs> <laughs> and now Jason goes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we have some some features to talk about. You interrupted me, so Sunny in the Park. There's some pictures of your people. There's pictures too. There's and pictures video. and yeah. video in transit. Celebrated 100 performances on the Broadway. If you overuse it, no one's going to be excited by it. Thank you. And uh, we have a lovely building Broadway with Paloma Young, who did the costumes for Great Comet. Are you just calling it Great Comet now? Yes, that's what it says on the egg shaker, so that's what I'm going with. Oh. I get my information from egg shakers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's, a, of course, a Tony winner from Peter and the, uh, for Peter and the Starcatcher. Where'd you film that? The Outer Boroughs? I did. I went to her apartment Stick slash out. studio. I went to her apartment one time. It was a different apartment. And that's where she did the Tony winning costumes. For, for Peter and the Starcatcher, right. which I had just said. But her Tony Award is there. It's a it's a nice, small, little, cute, sunny place. Okay. In deep, deep Brooklyn. Deep. Straight and out she of is, what's cool is that she's been influenced by everything from like Moscow nightclubs in the nineties. Right, Tracy Lee Shelley just said yeah. N P A T G C O one eight one two L O L. Natasha Pierre, Pierre and, and the Great, great Comet. <laughs> if it didn't say eighteen twelve, I would have no idea what you were doing. Exactly. <laughs> the eighteen twelve helped a, good clue. a lot. That was a good clue. But Tracy, I, that took you that long to do it, didn't it? Right, and that note. It's funny like she was typing <laughs> it out that whole time. Natasha P Pierre. Or you could call Great Comet. That's what's on the egg shaker. All right. Are you right. done? Excuse me. <laughs> I miss you already. <laughs> Bye, All right. Everybody. Thank you, Beth. I'm Jason Gotag. Come here. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 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 How are you doing? Know? You're taller than Beth. You guys are really funny. Oh, you can come by any time and watch us live. Wait, really? Yeah, sure. I'm going to do that. We can give you a cubicle here if you want. No office is available. How you doing? I got I'm great. Good to see you. It's good to see you too. I was just listening to you singing, singing. What? Yeah, you you're on this uh, awesome new album. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So Freaky Friday. Yes. Is a brand new musical. Yes. You did the show where? I did the show at the Signature Theater right. in right. Arlington, Virginia. Right. Not that long ago, like in the fall. No, I was there for a few months, and we wrapped up in November. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ish. But you made you made an album. I did. It was really exciting to do that. And and this is not like who wrote this music. I mean, this is let's talk about these people. The masters. The masters. Tom Kidd and Brian Yorkie, two of my heroes, and probably yours too, because they're brilliant. Right. So they they of course wrote the brilliant Next to Normal. Yes. Did you ever sing any of those songs in auditions? Or? A little bit yeah. here and there. Just saw Dear Evan Hansen the other day, which uh -huh. I can't even talk about yet. But I haven't been you moved. Can't, I, I, can't I can't form sentences about, about it yet. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm going to week. Next time I'm here, seeing you in that theater thing. Um, but I haven't been moved like that by a show since Next to Normal. You said mm, that and it brought right, me back. I was right. like sobbing watching Next to Normal and I was sobbing right. openly right. watching. Yeah. So Kit and Yorkie, they also wrote If Then. And now they have Freaky Friday. Yeah. And this is, of course, based on the classic 
Yes. Classic hijinks, mother-daughter hijinks. You know the story. Right, and you had some amazing <laughs> female stars. Yes. So we have Heidi Blickenstaff. The Heidi Blickenstaff. How, how is she? Oh she's God! Kind of, she's kind of amazing as a person. I'm obsessed right? with her. Hi, yeah. Heidi. If you're watching, Heidi, I'm, I'm, just, I'm about Heidi's to always watch her. rant about how much I love you. <laughs> she is just the quintessential leading lady. She's brilliant. She's so. Well, I'm kind. excited that she has a great leading lady role to uh, like yeah. super teeth into. Yes, that's awesome. She I haven't seen that. I didn't get to see it in Signature. You didn't? Did you act any of it out for me? Well, yeah, it would require a hoverboard for those of you who saw the show. Oh. And since we don't have that readily available, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that for you. Darn. Uh, and then who else is in it? Um, Emma Hunton plays her daughter. Right. I've worked with Emma before. I what love you her. Do together? We met doing a reading of the musical Gay Bride of Frankenstein. Oh. This was years ago. It was right after Bring It On Clothes. Max von Essen was a part of it. Um, Billy Ty, who's doing Finding Neverland, oh, yeah. awesome people. And so years later, we were reunited doing it. It's this. always fun to hear, like, when people say, well, I worked with that person, but we don't really know you guys work together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Readings. We don't know about readings. So. Totally. So many readings. So many readings. So many readings. <laughs> is, that your, is that your world? Readings? Is that your um, life? There was a time. Yeah. Yeah. There definitely was a time. So did you know you were going to get to make an album? I mean, obviously, they wanted to get the music out there. Yes. So when did the album happen? I think we were all hoping, but we were kind of waiting on details, and then towards the end of our run, um, you know, Disney announced that they were doing it officially, and they asked us to be a part of it, and we were really excited to get to preserve what we did yeah. um, forever and always. Alec wants to know, have you heard the whole cast album yet? No, I've only heard bits and pieces of it. Have but you, Friday... Have you heard your big moments? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah, are you happy? Do you like listening to it? I well? am. I... It varies. The first time I heard Go, which was my like big moment in the yeah. show and my favorite song awesome. in the show, um, I loved it. And then the more I listened to it, I started to pick it apart and dissect it. But I need to release myself. It happened. I love it. The song is great. It is what it is. It's awesome. Right. Okay. How much? How much? I think. How much? How much you don't you believe me. You're yeah. like, well, because it sounds amazing. <laughs> so I'm just like, what's he going through? Um, but how much recording have you done? How many? I'm trying to think. How it's many? my second cast right. recording. No, right. it's my third officially. What? We recorded um, Effing Up Everything, that off-Broadway musical oh, yeah, yeah. I did about hipsters yeah, yeah. in Brooklyn. It was yeah. renamed Brooklyn Crush. So the Brooklyn Crush cast recording exists out there. So Wait, that I didn't even know that. I didn't it, know it was called It that. does exist. Well, we recorded it. You were funny on that show. That was a crazy role That's crazy, for me, yeah. wasn't it? It was in that old the former porn theater. Yes, the Electra Theater in Sorry. the Times Square <laughs> building, which is a really interesting <laughs> place, wouldn't you say? Interesting. It was, yeah, definitely. I could share some stories. Um, <laughs> but that was recorded like a year or two after we did the oh, show. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it wasn't immediately following the production, but that's really fun music to Right, me. and you of course, then there's that going on. That thing, yeah. People know that. People yeah, know that. That was my first. Uh, Hannah's very excited about this album. Okay, what's this? Robert Wilson Baker. Full name. Three, three first well, names. I love, I love a three name. Right? So you bring it on. How did Tom Kitt work, enjoy the trip around your voice? How did he do One that? of my favorite scores when I played Randall in the summer. Just oh, cool. gone here in the UK. I guess they did it in the UK. Well, Robert Wilson Baker, I love your name. How did <laughs> you do British. that? Well, Tom Kitt actually, um, he wrote the song that, that happened to fit my voice really well. Were you already involved when he wrote it? No, no. definitely not. Okay. It was my audition song for the show. Oh. That and, and the one other um, big song that I did. Right. Um, but it happened to sit really comfortably. It was just in kind of a sweet spot for my voice. He didn't really shape it around me. Right, I just right, had right. to kind of right. serve the needs of right. the song. What else have you been up to? Well, life? life is great. How's 2017? 2017 is off to an awesome start. Okay, good. <gasps> the first thing that came to mind, which I can't believe I'm saying this, this is not really a big deal, but actually it is a huge deal. My boyfriend is here. Oh my God, congratulations to your boyfriend. Your you boyfriend? should be congratulating me, because I'm more excited about it than him, maybe. <laughs> anyway, Michael Hartung, hi. He's in rehearsal right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, and... Um, I, it's just going to be That's completely exciting. incredible. Yeah, I yeah, cool. obsessed with Did you get to meet Bette Midler yet? Not yet. Yeah. But the moment is coming and I'm gearing <laughs> Have you up planned for like what the, what, how you're going to, what that moment's going to be like, what you no, want to say? No, I'm more thought about it. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying too much, now. I'm saying too much. Okay, this is a live show that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm not. giving myself away entirely. <laughs> I'm so excited for Hello Dolly. And I just can't wait to see it, that cast. What the hell? Yeah. Can I say hell on this? Yes, show? yes, we've said right. worse. Okay. We've said worse in the last 10 minutes. True. Um, uh, <laughs> Going back to you. What, what is your like? What would be your dream role? If I could like hand you 
I'm a big fan of your talent. What what would you really love to do? Well, well, the classic answer, which I'm not just saying this because the show is like totally trendy right now, but it's oh. always been um, George and Sunday in the Park. Uh, I'm a Sondheim I buff. I grew up, I was like that Sondheim nerd in high school. Anyone who knows me knows that. Um, that's my number one all-time favorite show. I have my tickets. Have you, you haven't seen them do it yet? No. You see that, see I, I was, oh, oh, yeah, I was away, gone. yeah. We oh, gone. Freaky Friday. Totally. Uh, oh my God, so you're psyched. Cannot wait Did you watch the that. video, the Jake Gyllenhaal? Yes, the thing, the of course video? I did. I'm blown away just like everyone else on the planet. Where where did that come from? I feel like, he, well, that's the thing, I feel like he's going to have a lot of enemies and like nice Broadway voice yeah, singers. I'm, I'm like a little mad. Role. Because it's like... You can't now, just show up and sing like that. Right, it's annoying. <laughs> you, yeah, it is annoying. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad you brought this up. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm so thrilled. I mean, who knew? And Emily uh, Ashford is brilliant. It's yeah. going to be great. Yeah, you're going to love it. So, uh, what? Who, who is this character on Freaky Friday? Who do you? Who are you in that? I play the daughter's love interest. Okay. Um, his name is Adam, and the story is a brand new adaptation from the Freaky Fridays you've seen before. Okay. Um, so at at their school every year. I like Bring It On was a new version, even totally. though it's the brand Bring It On. Yes. But yeah, so yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, so Ellie is our kind of te teenage heroine, and at her high school, the biggest event of the year is this scavenger hunt. And it's a school-wide scavenger hunt, and they say it's bigger than the prom, it's bigger than the SATs, it's one crazy night where kids run around the streets of Chicago. Is that Chicago. a song title, One Crazy Night? No, it's because not. Cut song. Sorry, go That ahead. reminded me of One Normal Night from The Addams Family, which is already a song. <laughs> no, the scavenger hunt number is Go, which is the song that was just released yesterday. Ah, okay. Um, and so Adam, my character, is um, what's called the list master of the scavenger hunt. He creates all the clues, and he kind of uh, organizes it. And, um, I don't know. I, I don't think know. that was okay, created specially for our... I would love to be a list master. Sounds pretty legit, yeah. right? All right. Anyway, <laughs> so, so that's him. That's his mom. That's okay. him, yeah. And him and Ellie kind of have this really adorable crush on one another, but they don't know how to communicate because who knows how to communicate to so does someone that mean, have a crush on at 16. So do you have a crush on, uh, wait, I'm trying to think who you actually have a crush on then. Heidi Blakenstaff's personality? Well... And the daughter's, and Emma Hutton's body? I'm confused. Well, it's, you know, it's a little confused. Let me clear it up. <laughs> so there's been... So my character, I think, had like a long-standing crush on Ellie, Emma's character. Right. But you don't really get to see that because the show starts and they, you know, they switch right. bodies right away. But so the mom makes her more confident. Is that what it is? Like she goes up. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm actually, the I'm mom. Sure. No, the mom is like a total doofus around okay. Adam because she forgets what it's like to be around like a high school boy, right. and I think she is just freaked out by being around like confident high school boy who has a crush on her, and right. she totally is a goon. Heidi oh, was brilliant fun. in those scenes. She was so. So funny. Go see the show in right. La Jolla. It's there right, right now. now. It's in La Jolla. Yeah. 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 And Heidi and Emma are doing it in La Jolla right now. Yes. Yeah. So this album drops <laughs> on Friday. Do the, the applause thing. How do you do it? That's so fun. I got to get one of these. So, like, Just to press the applause Target. on myself when like, I need to like pat myself on the back. Target, like $5. <laughs> That's such a. That's a great little gag there. Right. Anyway, yeah. What else? Sometimes they go too long. <laughs> yeah, the applause goes for a I know. Oh, nice. You guys yeah. can use that one. More we could use that. Sure. You're right. We should use that. We have to. We have to program. We have, I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna be a list master. Make a <laughs> yeah. list of sound effects. Way to bring it full circle. <laughs> Just tearing things down. God. Okay. okay. So the album drops on Friday. Friday. And everyone can can listen to you. Yeah, it's available off. online. Yeah. March 17th is when you can get uh, a hard copy of it. People album. still wait for that. Is that still a thing? Someone commented on my Facebook status the other day, and they were like, I have to wait till March because I'm old. I was like, that's, that's not true. You can do what everyone else on the planet does. Do you actually have a I CD? Hope that person's do you have a not CD watching. player in your life? Because I, I don't. Don't you have CD Walkmans, though? <laughs> not really. And you would carry around those big, bulky CD but they were, cases with, like, fingers. Yeah, but then they would, like, they would... You're not, you know what I'm talking about. Depending on how you're carrying them, though, sometimes the song wouldn't play right. Yeah, they yeah. were always weird and, and finicky. I don't pine for those past. days, but I don't even have a CD player, but I'm glad for, I'm glad for the people who are waiting for that. That no, would be wow. an option. I'm glad that's an option. That is an option it's available good. to you. It's good that it's an option. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you so much, Jason. So good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for good having luck. me. Good luck. Of so course, you can, really, we have, we have a studio audience at any time. We can fit you in here. I'm really going to take um, on that. And good luck with that. Oh my God, thank you. I'm so <laughs> <nervous>. <laughs> and everybody, uh, check out Freaky Friday.
in the yeah. iTunes store on Friday and wherever digital music is sold. And then when is the physical? March. March 17th. March 17th. I'm glad you remember that date. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for watching Live at 5. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.